ओके डायमीटर small d it is small d is equal to it is 50 mm 50 mm and what is the shape torque that is t is equal to question mark t is equal to question mark t is equal to question mark and shear stress fs it is given fs is equal to it is 45 mpa 45 mpa mpa means it is in newton per mm square okay so first of all write down the torsion equation torsion equation in the relation of shear stress it is it is t divided by ip t it is torsion t it is torque and ip ip it is polar moment of inertia so polar moment of inertia it will be calculated ip is equal to ix plus iy then shear stress fs shear stress it is fs divided by r r it is radius okay So R it is radius in terms of d it will be d by two. Okay, in terms of d it will be d by two. So this is equation. Okay. So polar moment of inertia is I P is equal to I X X plus I Y Y. I X X plus I Y Y. Okay. So moment of inertia in X direction, moment of inertia in Y direction. Okay. So I X X it is I X X is equal to I X X is equal to Pi d raised to four pi in bracket in bracket capital D raised to four capital D raised to four so this in capital D raised to four this is external diameter minus small d raised to four minus small d raised to four small d raised to four divided by sixty four divided by Sixty-four. Okay, so this one it is for I X X as well as I Y Y. Okay, so this value it is I X X as well as I Y Y value. Okay, put here I P is equal to I X X it is pi pi in bracket d raised to four d raised to four d raised to four then Minus small d raised to four, then minus small d raised to four, small d raised to four, small d raised to four divided by sixty-four divided by sixty-four, sixty-four plus plus plus. So I O Y it is also same value. I O Y it is also. Pi, pi in bracket, in bracket, pi in bracket, in bracket. Capital D raised to four. Capital D raised to four. Minus, minus small d raised to four. Minus small d raised to four divided by sixty-four. Small d raised to four divided by sixty-four. So I X X I Y Y it will be same for hello circular section. Okay. So both addition of this one it will be get polar moment of inertia for hello circular it will be pi in bracket in bracket in bracket d raised to four d raised to four d raised to four minus Minus small d raised to four. Minus small d raised to four divided by thirty-two. Divided by thirty-two. So this one it is polar moment of inertia. Okay. So pi capital d raised to four minus small d raised to four divided by thirty-two. Okay. So next R it is radius it is is equal to it will be d by two. 
capital capital d by 2 okay so put all this value in torsion equation just simplify t divided by t divided by ip it is ip it is pi into pi into and bracket capital d raised to 4 and bracket capital d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 small d raised to 4 divided by 32 divided by 32 divided by 32 32 is equal to fs shear stress fs divided by divided by d by t divided by d by t divided by capital d by 2 okay so now t is equal to right on now t is equal to t is equal to pi pi in bracket in bracket d raised 4 d raised 4 minus small d raised 4 minus small d raised 4 small d raised 4 divided by 32 divided by 32 32 into into so d by 2 to be write down it will be 2 by d 2 by d 2 by d into fs into fs okay so this one it is 2 by 2 2 under 2 16 portion and write down now final equation okay so t is equal to t is equal to pi into pi into pi into capital D four in the bracket capital D four minus small D four minus small D four minus small D four. 16 D 16 into capital D into FS into FS. Put all this value here in this equation. Okay. So you can write on direct this equation also. Okay. So is equal to all this value pi into pi into n bracket bracket. So external diameter it is 80 mm, 80 raised to 4, 80 raised to 4, 80 raised to 4, 80 raised to 4, minus, minus, minus 50, 50 raised to 4, 50 raised to 4, 50 raised to divided by divided by 16 into d so 16 into 16 into so capital d it is 80 mm 80 mm into fs it is shear stress it is 45 mp 45 mp it will get torque from this equation okay so pi into 80 raised to 4 minus 50 raised to 4 divided by 16 into 16 into 80 into 45. So it will be 3.8 3 C3 into 10 raised to the power 6, 10 raised to the power 6 Newton mm. Newton mm. Okay. So 
convert it is in kilonewton divided by 10 raised to 6. That will be get it is in kilonewton meter. Okay. So divided by 10 raised to 6, this value will be get 3.833 kilonewton meter. Okay. 8.3.833 kilonewton per meter. So that's shape torque it can transmit it is 3.833 kilonewton meter. Okay. 